Slovakia has joined Poland and Hungary in suspending grain and other food imports from Ukraine. They say cheap Ukrainian grain is driving down local prices. European Union officials have now announced that they will be meeting this week to discuss Ukrainian grain exports issues within the bloc. The Polish ban followed protests by farmers there, as well as the resignation of the agriculture minister. Well, for the very latest on all those stories, let's bring in Arise Chief Correspondent John Cookson, who joins me live from London. Good to see you, John. Let's start with the Russian opposition activist, uh, Vladimir Karamurza. He's got, been given 25 years in prison. And I suppose that underscores the fact that speaking out against the war in Ukraine or against Vladimir Putin is a dangerous act for anyone in Russia. HR's very dangerous act. In fact, that's the maximum sentence ever handed out since the war began for those speaking out against the invasion of Ukraine. Uh, uh, one has to, uh, you know, think of him, him and his, his family tonight as he heads uh, uh, very shortly to one of 800 uh, gulag style. Uh, uh, barracks, uh, if, you, if you could call them that, uh, in the wilds of, of Russia, possibly in Siberia, where uh, there are 800 of these establishments uh, dotted across the country, and conditions are harsh, and, and, and that's uh, a, a, an understatement. Prisoners are not allowed to speak to each other. They must stand up between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. at night. Uh, they have to work. Uh, they're not so much prisons, more like uh, barracks. Uh, food is minimal. Healthcare is, again, minimal. And uh, uh, it is uh, extremely harsh. And uh, uh, 25 years, as I say, is the maximum sentence uh, ever handed out uh, uh, to a, a, a dissident. Interestingly, Charles, uh, I was looking back at his uh, family and... Uh, uh, I see that his grandfather was, uh, he survived a time in a Soviet labor camp. His maternal grandfather was executed by, by Stalin, and his great great uncle uh, was involved in the assassination of a Russian official, and he too was executed. So, uh, this family, the uh, Karamuza family, have uh, certainly paid the price for dissent in Russia. Charles. That, that's extraordinary, John. I, I'm just about the man himself, Vladimir Karamuza. I mean, he doesn't appear to be very well known himself in Russia, though he's apparently very influential within opposition circles, which is possibly why he got such a heavy sentence. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think you're right, Charles. Uh, he, he spent his early years as a, as a journalist uh, wor working uh, in Europe and also in America, uh, but this, it's these anti-war speeches that he's made over, well, since the invasion began uh, uh, last uh, year, last February, uh, and one in particular to uh, uh, U.S. politicians in Arizona. And this has deeply upset uh, the, the Kremlin. The Kremlin incidentally saying tonight that they never comment on cases and, uh, and the sentence that was handed out to him. But uh, he certainly had a, a, a following in Russia and was obviously viewed by the regime as being very influential. Uh, uh, and he spoke about uh, Russian war crimes uh, in Ukraine, which has always been denied by the Kremlin. But uh, we, uh, myself as a broadcaster, uh, discovered uh, war crimes myself when I was in, in, in Ukraine uh, twice. Uh, and there are thousands and thousands of example, proven examples of war crimes. Uh, carried out by Russian forces, in, including the use of cluster bombs. So it was this influence and the fact that he pinpointed uh, uh, abuses by, by, by Russia, which, uh, which has upset the Kremlin, and uh, uh, the sentence was handed out today. Uh, John, let, let's move away um, from that particular story to another one in, in that uh, region. Slovakia joining Poland and Hungary in suspending grain and other food imports from Ukraine. I mean, that can't be good for Ukraine. 
No, but uh, I mean, the, the, there is an absolute vast market for uh, Ukrainian grain and wheat and uh, uh, other breadbasket uh, commodities that uh, Ukraine supplies. Uh, you, you already indicated that the reason why those three nations, Hungary, Poland and Slovakia, uh, have, have put a ban on Ukrainian wheat is because uh, they produce so much themselves that the farmers in their own countries were protesting that they would, that the Ukrainian wheat was driving uh, the price down. I suspect that uh, under the Black Sea grain deal, which uh, uh, was agreed between Russia, Turkey and the UN and Ukraine uh, last year, uh, will continue in it pretty much in its present form because there's an, as I said earlier, there's an insatiable demand uh, for uh, uh, grain in the rest of the world, not least in, in Africa and East Africa in, in particular. There was some good news, though, out of Slovakia today for Ukraine. The Slovakians agreed to supply uh, 13 MiG jet fighters, which will be uh, greatly appreciated uh, by the regime in Kiev. John, thanks very much indeed. John Cookson, a RISE chief correspondent, talking to me there from London.